Texas Tech and Texas. Now, we, we have talked about this multiple times, about which version of Texas are we going to get here. Uh, 82 Atlantic jumps in. Great win for Texas Tech, especially since UT might never return to Lubbock. That is a valid point. That is a valid point. This was the last one. And I think you're going to see this with Oklahoma and Texas multiple times this year. Uh, from what I can tell, uh, people are fired up when they come to their place because it ain't that long before the Longhorns and the Sooners head over to the SEC. Uh, this was, I, I've said this over and over and over again, right? Donovan Smith is maybe the most high-variance player that you have in the country. With that Zach Kitley offense and what they are doing with him, they did not plan on him even being the starter. Like, Tyler Shuck was the starter. He is the better passer. And yet, you look at this, and just the stats were were mind-blowing. Uh, Smith ran 15 times for 42 yards. That is not usual, right? Typically, he he has more yards, et cetera, so Texas was able to key in on him. Um, but passing, 38 out of 56 for 331 yards and two touchdowns. Like, Texas was not able to get home on him and really make him uncomfortable. Like he just, he flung the ball around. It, it, it floored me when I saw what ended up happening at the end of this game. Um, Texas only got into the red zone twice. They went two for two. Texas, they got there six times. They went five out of six. Like, Texas didn't hold on to the football. They had two fumbles. Uh, well, two, two turnovers, excuse me. Uh, one was an interception. Hudson Card, 20 out of 30, 277 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. And this is the reason why uh, Steve Sarkeesian wanted Quinn Ewers to play, right? It, there's just not as much explosiveness from Hudson Card as there is with Quinn Ewers. And, that I mean, that's the bottom line. That's the way it goes. Uh, Xavier Worthy, only three catches for 50 yards, one touchdown, um, I think that he, I think he may have gotten hurt in this game. I think he limped around at, at one point, so I, I didn't see anything official on it. Um, but obviously, that's going to hurt you when one of your most explosive players is is out for the game, uh, or doesn't play well. How's that? He just he's not as useful. Uh, but yeah, this was this was a weird weird game to me uh, when you look at win probability, when you look at just everything. Uh, it, the field position, about even uh, plays per drive. I mean, Texas Tech was able to sustain drives against that Texas defense. Like, how how are you going to... How can you build this culture at Texas, right? And I know that we should be focusing on Texas Tech because they did amazing things. Obviously, Joey McGuire has, has really built up the culture in this place already. Like, they are fired up down there in a way that they haven't been in a long time. But... But at the end of the day, like Texas has got to figure some things out because it does not get easier for them down the road, right? Yeah, I understand that they've already played Alabama. You got that one out of the way. Uh, you find you beat Te- or excuse me, you beat UTSA. You lose to Texas Tech. Well, now West Virginia comes in next week. Uh, now you got Oklahoma coming in after that, or you obviously play that in Dallas. But Iowa State, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, TCU, Kansas, Baylor. There's not an easy game left on the schedule. Like people would have said that Texas Tech was the one that you had to win, even on the road. I'm telling you, the Big 12 is going to go nuts. Um, <laughs> 82 Atlantic jumps in. Was Tech coach using analytics to constantly go for it on fourth down? Yes. Yes. 100% Joe McGuire has the book, and he goes by it. Um, and I think it's smart. Like, obviously it's smart. Like, in a in a chance or in a game like that, you absolutely have to give yourself every opportunity to win, right? Looking at the team stats here, uh, six out of eight on fourth down. You're extending drives, like you're you're keeping the ball away from Texas in their explosive offense. Don't give Bijan Robinson more chances than you have to, right? Uh, but six out of eight, yeah. I mean, it's it, yes, absolutely. He was using the book and. And I can't fault him for it because you're already at a disadvantage when you are at Texas Tech when you're going against Texas. Take every shot you can. 
Like it, every every opportunity that you don't go for it, that's an opportunity wasted. So yeah, that was a big big part of this game. But they trusted Donovan Smith. They let him cook. It was awesome. Like I I can't even begin to explain how how big this is for Texas Tech uh, and what they're what they're trying to build there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>